New Zealand basketball are mm. set to announce a mid-season trade. This is really interesting. Cool. Talk to me. Yeah, so they're looking for the 2024 season, uh, bringing a trade window on the proviso that the player agrees to the trade. Now, I'm told from NBL types that they'll watch this closely as a bit of a test case to see how it goes because there's been a push for a long time to have a trade window in the NBA. Forever. It would be it would add so many layers from a news point of view, so many stories. In fact, in all the papers across the country, we're doing a mock trade scenario um, of in the NBL. So, like for example, like Aaron Baines could go to um, Adelaide. They need a big man, and then Mitch McCarron could go to the Bullets, or you, you know, even um, there's a number of players like Angus Glover at the Kings. He's sitting on the bench. He's already won two championships. He's a starter. Like let him let him go and be a starter. So go somewhere else and play, and and you swap it over. You know, but. Anyway, it's all hypothetical, but at the end of the day, Shane, there is some blowback. There's some blowback from that, 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 that claiming that the NBL is not ready for it. Why is it not ready? Like, mm. for me, I've heard it's more the Players Association saying maybe that the, the players don't want to have... Well, they get the final choice. You mm. go to Corey Webster right now and say, hey, mate, there's a team that wants you. You're sitting on the bench. You're stale. They want to be able to reinvigorate what you do. Of course he would want to trade. If As long as the player gets the right to be able to say, no, 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 I don't want to move, I then everything's good. Agreed. There's only upside for both the club and the players to be able to make this happen as long as the player gets the last right. So imagine at the moment we've got like a, a fever break and we're all sort of saying, oh, you know, it's it's hard, like there's no games. So imagine during this window, as an example, you've yeah. got all these potential trades happening and suddenly like the NBA and in other sports, it just adds these news layers that's, well, especially, I think it's got to happen. Well, especially be really because good. there's so many teams with injuries. We've seen, look at New Zealand right now, and you use the Corey Webster situation, and, and they need somebody. They need people to be able to come in right now. Mm. And um, that still keeps everybody involved where maybe they've got a chance to be able to make a move um, and, and give themselves a chance. 11 games in, it's, oh, it's going to be tough for New Zealand. They should be able to do something to improve their roster. And it keeps those fans activated just course. quickly. Because, you know, when you lose a bit of hope, but if you give them something, then it's like, mm. oh, it's engaging as many teams for as long as possible. Corey Webster, back to the New Zealand Breakers, is a <laughs> brilliant example, by the way. Uh